On April 8th, the Nintendo 3DS and Nintendo Wii U online servers will be going down, meaning that you can no longer play these games online. And as someone who played a lot of 3DS and Wii U stuff, it's kind of bittersweet to see these servers go down and never be able to play with other people online ever again. So in today's video, I want to take a trip down memory lane, tell you guys some of my experiences from 3DS and Wii U online games and the games that I enjoyed playing. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome. Hit that subscribe button. I'm not a Nintendo YouTuber. I've been seeing it in the comments and, you know, the FBI, if they show up at your door don't don't be surprised pal but without any further ado let's jump into it so we're going to start off with the 3ds and the 3ds i have a very funny story about picking it up our town that we lived in in north carolina was not doing a midnight launch walmart wasn't doing one gamestop wasn't doing one so i found out online that a town 30 minutes away was indeed doing one my buddy came over because we were going to go together he was not really in a state to drive and i was like well, I'll drive us, but I'm taking your car. He had a Cadillac CTS, and he had just put 20s on it. And I guess he skipped the wheel alignment because that thing was a freaking death trap. It's pouring down rain. I'm like, we're, we're going to freaking die. We're going out of these back roads with no lights. But we made it to that to that Walmart. And I was like, okay, you know, we're here early. We're here about 30 minutes early. This is good because there's going to be a lot of people there. There wasn't a single person to get a Nintendo 3DS besides us two. Everyone else was like loitering or grocery shopping and stuff. And I was like, bro, uh, we miscalculated this. I, I remember asking the dude, I was like, can you just sell it to us early? Like, it's only us two. And he was like, no. So we just sat on some couches that they had there and went outside and had a few cigarettes. But I remember picking up Super Street Fighter uh, 4 3D on the Nintendo 3DS as one of my launch games. And I, I really had a lot of fun with that game. I really thoroughly enjoyed my time with that game. And the portion of it that I really enjoyed was the online stuff. Now, unfortunately, if you played this game, you would know that you could cheese it because you could have all your special moves, your Hadoukens, your Yoga Flames and stuff mapped to the bottom touch screen. So you could just press a button and people would just spam that online. Now you could turn that off in your search of people, but it definitely made it a lot more limited because there were like super godlike guiles where it was just, you know, you, you were screwed. You literally couldn't move. You literally could not do anything. But for what it was, it was still a fun game. The next game that I definitely remember, I'm going to kind of combine two into one with this, was Resident Evil Mercenaries 3D and also Resident Evil Revelations. Now, Resident Evil Mercenaries 3D came out first. It didn't really have any sort of single player stuff. It was more so based on online play. And for that reason, it was definitely kind of limited as far as what you could get out of enjoyment. But as a Resident Evil fan, like I was completely on board with it. I, I thought it was super cool. It was super fun for what it was. Maybe a little bit overpriced. And if you're not like a diehard Resident Evil fan, the novelty definitely will wear off very quickly. But Revelations was, was a bit different because you had that brand new single player campaign. And then you had this online multiplayer as well that was like super fun. You know, I, I still think Resident Evil Revelations is one of the best blendings of the classic Resident Evil style and a modern Resident Evil style. And I just think it's a brilliant game from top to bottom. I like to replay through it, you know, like once a year or something like that. But definitely a lot of fun and fond memories of playing that game online, both of those games online. But, you know, just just really fun stuff. And once again, kind of a shame to see it go. I would say the game that I played online the most, though, was probably Kid Icarus Uprising. You know, you don't necessarily think about Nintendo and great online experiences, at least at that time, because, you know, the Wii, it was kind of hit or miss if you were getting online stuff in those games. But the 3DS, like even even the DS, really. But it seemed like with handhelds, they were more open to online stuff. And Kid Icarus Uprising, a, a great single player campaign and really fun and in-depth multiplayer within this game you could spend tons and tons of time just playing it and the different game modes you have the tdms and stuff like that but it was such a unique game and it felt so different than a lot of other games did on the market like there really wasn't anything like it and I, I still don't think there really is anything quite like it nowadays so that was just a, a really fun game you know granted you had to like cripple your hands in order to play it or play it with the stand or something like that because of the various control schemes that all sort of used the touch screen on it but that was kind of 
that was really good online especially for nintendo at that time frame it was very very impressive and then the final game that i want to talk about on the 3ds side of things was an independent game that was unlike anything else on the 3ds it was called ironfall 3d now this was essentially a cover based shooter kind of think you know like a gears of war style game but shrunk down onto the 3ds but the online multiplayer was extremely robust like this was a a, a large scale game for the 3ds in terms of the gameplay mechanics in terms of the gameplay style and in terms of like just the presentation like everything about this game felt very triple a and it's it was a super fun game on a platform that didn't really have many games in this sort of style i'm surprised with the with the massive influx of first person shooters that we saw on the nintendo ds you know metroid prime hunters various call of duties golden eyes and stuff like that i'm surprised like more companies didn't try first person shooters or cover based shooters on the 3ds just you know making the games look better i feel like there was a market for that sort of stuff on there but those were definitely some of my most played 3ds online games of course there was some other stuff you know your mario karts and stuff like that but i kind of wanted to save that for the wii u portion of the video because when it comes to the wii u i kind of bought it out of necessity because i had a 3ds and i was just getting my toes wet into writing articles on a video game website they were like well are you getting a wii u i was like i mean i can and they were like we'll get one because you'll be the wii u guy and i was like okay so obviously with the launch of the wii u you had a lot of third party games right at the initial initial start of it and ones that I remember you know definitely Black Ops 2 you know it was it wasn't the, the best version of the game but that gamepad really made it unique and I mean it, it's it was Black Ops 2 like what do you want me to say about it, it it's still a, a really fun game some really well done maps some great character customization and it was nice to see you know a highly polished version of the game on a nintendo platform coming off of the wii you know coming off of the ds you didn't really have that you didn't have that visual fidelity that you had with the wii u so you know they kind of toted it up to, i remember reggie fils that freaking liar he, he toted it up to be the best version of that game and you know i guess you could kind of make a case for that but i definitely feel like that was that was a great version of online multiplayer and even ghosts like ghosts wasn't a good game call of duty ghost but it, you're probably thinking well rgt why are you playing these first person shooters online on 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 your wii u didn't you have other platforms and yes we had all the platforms in the house that i lived in but you got to remember there's like a bunch of little kids playing this and it's, it's it's easier to to shoot them they don't know what's going on and so like like look i know that's messed up to say i'm not here like like i'm not here to have fun i'm here to win because winning to me is fun and if i go 50 and 0 and you go 0 and 50 because you don't understand the controls that's on you bro that's on you like you can call that whatever you want to call it i am here to win because winning is fun and that's why i always will play various shooter games on nintendo platforms because the clientele probably you know they're they're probably still uh figuring out how to control a game of course you have mario kart 8 and I mean, Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U was so good. They were like, we're not making a Mario Kart 9 for the Switch. Like this game is just a great blend of, of classic stuff, modern stuff, and fun online. Obviously, the online got better with the Nintendo Switch version of the game because you added in more modes. But still, like this was peak Mario Kart. And I still think that Mario Kart 8 is the best mario kart game and if it wasn't for the wii u version and the online functionality of that you know the switch version might not be a thing and you know that platform to build upon it to make mario kart 8 deluxe but i had so much fun playing mario kart 8 just you know it, it, it was one of the best if not the best games on the nintendo wii u because it was fun it used the gamepad in a good way and the online was super super solid in it you know it wasn't all laggy it wasn't all wonky like sometimes mario kart 7 got online just a, a brilliant game and still a game that i think is super fun today and the final game that i want to talk about with the wii u splatoon you know i reviewed splatoon for nintendo enthusiast website and i remember i gave it a 7 6.5 out of 10 on launch day because i loved the premise of it i thought it was a fun online multiplayer game nintendo's not really known for their 
you know, heavy online focus where that's the main appeal of the game. But I just felt like on day one, it was lacking content. And I, I was hopeful that the game would continue to grow and continue to be successful. And thankfully, it was because, you know, Splatoon ended up Splatoon on day one and Splatoon today is a completely different game. You know, they added in a bunch of content. They added in new weapons. They added in this. They added in that. And it took Japan by storm. And really, it was just a different style of multiplayer game that really I think only Nintendo could get away with. You know, you look at something like Foam Stars, which obviously takes inspiration from Splatoon. Where is that game now? And that game, you know, it just came out. Who's talking about that? Who's still playing that game? But when you talk about Splatoon, like it still has that cult following. People are still super stoked for whether it's the original, whether it's two, whether it's three. It really built a franchise. It built a brand on a system that was definitely, you know, struggling at that time. So, you know, it, it's fun to think about those memories. There's a lot of online games that I miss. I miss Metal Gear Online from Metal Gear Solid 3. I miss uh, Metal Gear Online from Metal Gear Solid 4. Like, I played those games so damn much, and I had so much fun with them. And, like, these games, you know, I have those nostalgic feelings. I have those memories. And, you know, as long as I got my brain, I guess I'll always have those memories. So, you know, it is bittersweet. Eventually, you do have to move on. Like, I get it. But still, it's it's still just, it's like a, it's like a party of dies. You know, it, you feel like you're getting older. Your back starts to hurt a little bit more because father time spares no one. And, like, this is just a, a, a passing of time that a lot of people, you know, it might not hit you now, but it might hit you in a couple days. So let me know in the comments section down below. What do you have memories of from the Wii U or the 3DS era? What were some of the games that you enjoyed playing? Let it out, man. This is a this is a session where we can all talk about it. Get this out of our system because after tomorrow, there's really no reason to talk about it. And as always, guys, thank you for checking out this video. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, and share. Hit the bell as well. I'm not a Nintendo YouTuber. I swear to God, every single one of them is going into a log and I'm sending it to the authorities. I'm not playing with y'all. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.